Allahu 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 Allah 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 Allahu Basali Must fix everything. <laughs> if you are fixing, that means you are trying to get yourself ready for something. We are in our short life preparing ourselves and fixing ourselves for something better. Don't be cheated by today living or by shiny living or by famous living. It is not this is what you are being fixed or you try to prepare yourself. Allah Almighty, he give us a chance to prepare ourselves for him. If we are clever enough and we know the right way and Allah Almighty he help us to be with the true murshid then we done it you can say yes we are there alhamdulillah this is small introduction for similar things that we are living in our life All the time, the famous people or the rich people, they have enmity from below people. And it is a classic thing happening in everything. In every field, in every place, in every community, in every place. This is a classic. This is, if not happen, it will not keep the life to be continued. Now, 
you are more famous than me. I will try harder to be more famous than you. At least as you. You see somebody have a lot of money, let's say, I should work harder to catch him and to be more than him. And you see somebody building house, you say, oh, maybe I can build better than this house. So this actually, it is the machinery for this world to go on and on and on. So it's being put there by purpose, Allah Almighty, he give the reason and he give the possibility to make it happen. Now, the important things here, if you can catch the balance of that point, then you will be in the safe side. If you cannot catch the balance, you become a tyrant, you become a destroyer, you become something that Allah Almighty never wish you to be like this. It is important also because everything being created by very sensitive balance. Allah Almighty, he put everything in very sensitive balance. Why you believe in electronic balance and you don't believe in sensitive balance? There is some electronic balance. You put the weight there. It says, tell you it is one and a half gram. When you look, one and a half gram cannot be. You cannot measure it by hand. But there is special uh, place to put and to measure the weight and the balance. Allah Almighty is so great that he put everything in perfect balance. But we are not accepting Allah Almighty balance. <laughs> Say it's wrong. <laughs> this is many Adam. He is immediately say it's wrong. <laughs> yeah, Allah Almighty, He make the perfect balance. I think my balance is better. <laughs> because you try to get to your own benefit. Then you destroy all the balance. That's why the people in this world, they are fighting. They are not happy. And they are not with each other. Even they are with each other. You look families, you look, you think family is united, but at the end of the day, you see the family, everybody taking his own balance to his own place. Think little bit, have to think, have to look wisely. And we have a Shaykh, Alhamdulillah, that he is given the torture in this darkness, he is giving a torture for the point, torch, a uh, torch. He gives you the torch for the right point. And he let you to see the real balance. This is the advantage of having a sheikh, having a murshid. Because in the dark, we don't know where we are. This remind me, once upon a time, we went to Disneyland. <laughs> and they say, one game called uh, Moon, I don't know what. And it is, they put you in the train, and you go in the dark. And you think that you are going, but suddenly you, shoo, going down. Suddenly you go up, suddenly you go right, suddenly... And this, it's really, really, really give you the real, our lifestyle in the dark. You don't know if you're going down or you're going up. You don't see anything it's so dark. They put you small, small, small lights. And this is not enough to show you the way that you're going. This is truly as 
our life. Truly. Because I'm thinking, what I'm doing here? <gasps> it's going up and down. And you don't know what's happening, what's going on. And you, you will hit something or not also. But if you have a murshid, you have the torture. Torch. Torch. <laughs> What's mean torture now? <laughs> torture is azam. Okay, so it's similar. <laughs> it's got two sides. <laughs> because your ego never accept the Shaykh and Murshid. So it will be torture for ego. And the torch will be to show you. Yes. Because... So many people, they want to have a murshid and at the same time they have the torture. Yeah. Because the ego never accepts. But they have to. They have to. This is life. It is not easy to continue your life without torch. It's not easy. Alhamdulillah, we have Light of day with Mawlana Sheikh. This is also a big advantage. When you have a Sheikh, a true one, you have daylight. You see, you don't need any touch to, to be look. Alhamdulillah. And Mawlana Sheikh, he will never give us torture in our life. He was all the time give us the good time. He was all the time trying to get the torture in himself and then to make it in good way and give it to his murid. This is Mawlana Sheikh. This is reality. This is, you can know and you can see and we are believing and we personally, we live in it. Alhamdulillah. And we see our people also, they live in it. This is Mawlana Sheikh. Now, Mawlana Sheikh, he left Sheikh Muhammad, Sheikh Muhammad for us to continue this daylight for us. Yes. To make it continuously for us. Otherwise, he can say, oh, I done my duty. Okay, my children, my murids, my followers, my beloved one. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you like. No, he didn't. He didn't like it. He extend two years in his life. Two years extend his two years. And with two years, he was crying, 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 crying. It was crying two years. It was not happy two years for him. It was not good two years for him. But he tortured himself to make it easy on us. Yes. Yes. Now I understand why torture came. Allahu Akbar. Now I understand. I didn't know the meaning. Now I know the meaning. This is Mawlana Sheikh. He made two years torture for himself just to settle everything. And Alhamdulillah, he settled it. He didn't make any place for confusing. He didn't make any point not clear he didn't make anything and have a question no it was very clear for the one can see but the blind they cannot see and we don't have any issue with the blind one if you are blind it is your matter i am not blind <laughs> don't be blind Open up your eyes. Even your eyes is not open. Open your heart. Allah. Because Mawlana Sheikh, he was not talking for the eyes. Mawlana Sheikh was talking for the heart. Allah. This is the greatness of Mawlana Sheikh. If your heart is blind, go to hell. That's so simple. Because you didn't be listening to Mawlana Sheikh by your heart. You've been listening by your ego. You've been listening for something, it is coming to your benefit. You've been listening for something you like, you've been listening for something you don't like. You ignore the one that you don't like. 
The one you like, you say, yes, 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 yes. The thing they don't like, you say, no, 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 no. Maulana Sheikh never speak for the eyes. Maulana Sheikh speak for the heart and the life heart. This Maulana Sheikh, he's so great. Anybody can speak to the eyes. It's no problem. But to speak to the heart is the most difficult one, is the most elegant one, is the most highest one, is the most noble one. I'm saying noble. It is not easy to speak for the heart. See for the heart around the world. If it doesn't have a power, this tongue cannot speak to anybody. His power, the one make the heart to listen. His power, it is so powerful. We must understand and we must estimate Maulana Sheikh. Don't go in your way, don't go in your mind. Don't go for something, it's not in your good benefit. Maybe now we can see it as a bad benefit, <coughs> but for the future it will be the best benefit. Today, dunya things is passing. We are passing. Yesterday, our hair, it was black. Today, become gray. Tomorrow, it will be very white. <coughs> very white. <laughs> but you cannot stop it. Even you put henna. <laughs> Still, from under it coming white. Hey, stop, stop, stop. No, no, no. <laughs> this is, even you have a black Hair, your age is moving on and on. Maybe we see only our skin becoming old, but our inside body also become old. Everything, it is coming to be old. Older, older, older. Why they say, I remember my mother, she was convinced me to pray when I was a kid. Every mom do this, not only my mom. <laughs> and she was saying, my son, I like to tell you something. When you are a kid and young boy and you pray to Allah Almighty, Allah Almighty, he asked the, the angel to grave, Carve in the stone your what you been worshiping to Allah Almighty. Say when you coming older, so it will be as you are writing in the sand. So she was her advice: try to make as much as you can when you are young and small, because it will be graved in the stone, carved in the stone. And it's being carved in the marble. When you are old, you understand the reality. So you're doing it. It's becoming as a duty. But when you are young, you're playing around. But you say, no, Allahu Akbar, Allah, you go and pray. Then this is have the value. Now, in our tariqah also, with Mawlana Sheikh, it was having the value to be with him. To act, you are with him. But now Maulana Sheikh, he resting in his maqam. So if you act according to your ego, then it will not have any value. So important. I'm telling this for myself, not to anybody. I'm telling this for myself. That's why it's duty for us to keep Maulana Sheikh flag up, not our flag. This is important to understand. There is no Bahauddin. No. If I carry this flag, I carry this flag for Maulana Sheikh. If Sheikh Muhammad carrying this flag, he carrying this flag for Maulana Sheikh. He didn't want it. He didn't ask for it. And no say, this is your duty. You have to carry this flag. And this must be understood. This must be very much understood. There is no fight for maqam. There is no fight 
for rank. There is no fight for benefit. This must be flag for Maulana Sheikh. This flag of Maulana Sheikh must be carried on and on and on and on. Now it is like my mother, she was saying, yes, if you know your responsibility when you are a child, now if you know your responsibility when Maulana Sheikh is not around physically, then it is valid. That's what I'm trying to say. Now it is valid. Now it is very valuable. In the same time, it's very dangerous. Valuable and dangerous. So you have to think how to manage this. The balance that Maulana Sheikh, he give us. Wake up. Wake up. Maulana Sheikh never speak to the eyes. Maulana Sheikh speak to the heart. And today you have to show what Maulana Sheikh speak to your heart. Did your heart respond for Maulana Sheikh or not? How Maulana Sheikh was listening to you and how you've been listening to him. It's important. It's the most important test for us. This is Maulana Sheikh. How he is making everything perfect. It is like this now. So important. I don't know this Maulana Sheikh, whatever he give, I'm saying. I don't have any preparation. I don't have anything to know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I am the most ignorant one amongst you. I am not the one knows everything. But Maulana Sheikh, if he want, he can put the stone and he can tell the stone to advise you, to advise me, to advise everything. There is things you don't know what Maulana Sheikh want to say and he make it to be said, make it to be known, make it to be understood. That's Maulana Sheikh, he keep teaching us. He keep teaching us. This is important. If you know what Maulana Sheikh, who he is, you will be much different. But because you don't know who is Maulana Sheikh is, you are like this. May Allah forgive us. Inshallah. May Allah make us sincere to Maulana Sheikh. I am not asking anything else. I am just making dua for myself to be sincere to Maulana Sheikh. And I'm asking this also for all my brothers and sisters to be sincere to Maulana Sheikh. Because the sincerity it is the one, the saver. Nothing else. Even all dunya belonging to me. All the power belonging to me, to you. And you don't have one drop of sincerity. It's not worth nothing. 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 And I can say even more than nothing. One drop of sincerity can worth everything. Everything. Because... We are, as I say, we are moving ahead. We never go back. Yesterday it was 2014. Today is 2015. Tomorrow is 16, 17. And nobody can stop these numbers. And this is not good sign for us to go one year ahead, one year ahead. Now we are, okay, powerful. But next year, we don't know. The year after, also we don't know. The year after, we don't know if we remain. <laughs> also. So, it is not good news that you eat year after year after year. It is not good news. I'm telling you. It is not good news at all. So, the good news, to keep your sincerity to Maulana Sheikh and to say, Ya Maulana Sheikh, I'm coming to you. This is the good news. I'm coming to you, Ya Maulana Sheikh. This is the good news. The rest is not good news. May Allah forgive us and make us sincere to Maulana Sheikh. Make us sincere Allah. to great awliyas. Make us sincere to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Make us sincere to Allah Almighty. Because if you don't follow this road and you say, I'm sincere to Rasulullah, Rasulullah will ignore you. 
Say, go to hell. I am not looking for your sincerity to me because you are not sincere to the one that I love. And I say for Wahhabi, we are sincere to Allah. Allah Almighty will tell to Wahhabi, you are not sincere to me because you are not sincere to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that I love. You have to understand usul, you have to understand manner, you have to understand the way to arrive to Allah Almighty. You cannot arrive directly, nobody can arrive directly. Just forget about it. You have to use the road and usul, that tradition. You have to use this one. This is important to understand and to know. Allah Almighty is so near to us. Yes, we cannot live and breathe without Allah Almighty. But in the same time, we are so far away from Allah Almighty that we cannot reach. This is Allah Almighty. This is his wisdom. He give it to his servant. May Allah forgive me and forgive us. Ya Mawlana Shaykh, it's enough, I think. <laughs> Keep feeding. Women Allah Tawfiq, Behermat al Habib, Behermat al Fatiha. So, Mahane, Allah, Sultan, Allah. Fatiha.